We've all seen a magician saw a woman in half. Now we're going to show you how it's done. The first thing you need is a willing assistant. Of course, it has to seem like she's not willing. After all, who wants to be sawed in half? The assistant is shackled at the neck and ankles. This is to make it look like she can't move. Special boxes are then put in place and strapped to the table. The doors are opened so we can see the assistant trapped inside. This is one of the things that makes this trick so effective. Finally, her hands are tied. She's not going anywhere. The doors are closed. Now, here comes the saw. This is a real saw. The blade is very sharp. But as you'll see later, that doesn't matter. The magician and his assistant make it appear as if they're sawing through her body. Sometimes this will be embellished by screams coming from the assistant inside the box. The saw is removed, but our magician isn't done yet. More blades are inserted through the center of the box. He makes it seem like he hit bone, but if this were really happening, the assistant would be dead. Now for the amazing part of the trick, the assistant is split in half and made dizzy just for good measure. Sometimes you'll see feet sticking out the other end of the box. These are fake feet that move by remote control. The boxes are put back together and the blades are pulled out. The straps are untied. The boxes are removed. And there she is, still shackled to the table. The shackles are unlocked, and from here, you can see that her stomach looks just fine. Now for the moment of truth. Here's how it's done. First, the assistant must appear to be completely immobilized. This is the key to the entire illusion. Check out the leg restraints. It's supposed to look like no one could get out of them. But watch. There's just enough room for her to slip free. It takes a really limber assistant to pull off a trick like this. Once the box is closed, she quickly gets out of her shackles and folds her body into the top half of the box, just in time to avoid the blade. This is actually pretty dangerous. The timing must be just right, because the assistant has no way to signal to the magician that she's clear of the saw. To enhance the illusion, the boxes are spun around while the assistant remains curled up inside the top half of the box. After the boxes are put back together, the assistant slips her feet back into the restraints, making it seem as if she's been locked in the entire time. The boxes are removed. The shackles are unlocked. 